All right, hi everybody, this is Mr. Zarzak. Uh, you'll notice it's a little bit noisy out here because I am standing out along the side of the road because in this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to use the measure tool. Uh, the measure tool is an app that is pre-installed on your iPad, so the first thing you need to do is find it. Uh, so I'm on my home screen, so I'm just gonna swipe downwards to get that little search bar, and I'm just gonna type in the word measure and let it search. And when I do this, okay, you see my top hit here is the measure app, which is that with that little black icon with that horizontal uh, yellow line. But then right underneath it, you also see measure is accessible in my settings with the little gray gear icon. So I'm going to click that first. Uh, and when I go and click on the little measure app, okay, I've got the option of units. I can use imperial units. Imperial units would be like feet or inches. And then... What we need for science class, which is metric units, so that's like meters and centimeters. Okay, so I'm going to select that metric, hit the home button. Again, I'm going to swipe down from my home screen, then there's that measure search that I just did. Okay, and now I'm going to click on the application for measure, so that's the black icon with the yellow uh, horizontal line. Okay, and you see that I access my, my camera. All right, so you might need to move your iPad around a little bit, okay, to get it to work. But what you need is that little uh, white oval with the dots on your screen. Okay, and so what I've done is I found a couple of plastic cups that I'm going to use to mark along the ground. So I'm going to take and move that little oval onto where the orange cup is. And when I do that, I'm going to hit the little plus sign on the right side of the screen. Okay, but what that, what that does is it adds a pin. So it's held to the cup now. All right, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace down across my lawn and you'll see here I have a green cup I'm going to be the other my measurement I'm going to take put that little, uh, the little green cup and then I'm going to click plus sign again because it's going to connect to the line so I've now pinned it to the green cup as well if I take and I trace back here This goes all the way back down to that orange cup. Okay, but if I look center, I've got a measurement. It's 11.7 meters. Okay, so now I know that distance is 11.7 meters. Now, I'm gonna go back to the orange cup. Okay, I'm actually gonna hit the clear button in the upper right-hand corner. Okay, and I'm gonna measure this twice. All right, just because it's good practice when using the app to measure twice. So again, I'm just going to focus in on the orange cup. I'm going to hit that plus symbol on the right to add a pin. And then I'm going to move to the other end. The lawn here. I've got the orange cup. Put the little white dot right on the orange cup. And hit the plus sign to add the pin. Okay, and so then I've connected the two ends of the line. So now if I go and I move back, you can see the orange color. And I've got 11.67 meters. Okay, so pretty good there. I was only off by three centimeters. Um, so I'd say my measurement is pretty good. Now, if you get uh, two values and they're not real close, you might want to measure a third time um, until you get a good idea of this. And if you have multiple measurements, okay, then my suggestion would be to take an average. But now I've got the distance between these two points. I can use this distance measurement or whatever I want. Okay, so this has been Mr. Zarzak teaching you how to use the measure app on your iPad. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.